I really like mechanics and I really enjoy history and I really enjoy working with my hands. So I think kind of coupled all together, it makes it fascinating for me. And I've been that way since I was a kid, so. That's tight, okay. Now we're gonna do these braces here. Do you have a tape measure? I've always been interested in mills. I'd be able to get that. You know, wind power and water power to drive machinery. It just seems so simple and okay, natural. That that I'm kind of drawn to that too. I've certainly wore a lot of hats in my life. I mean, I've had my own dairy farm and done a lot of restoration woodworking and some blacksmithing and plumbing, electrical, <laughs> all kinds of things. But what really gets me going is a mill that operates. <laughs> well, we're almost full. Maybe we can get a chance to actually run the wheel, you know, which would be nice. But I, I need you to grease that one bearing on the outside. Routinely, I check the operation of the mill, and once a week I do any oiling and greasing of the bearings. And every 12 to 14 years, you need to replace almost every part on a wooden water wheel. Because there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff that that water wheel does other than just turn around. I mean, when it's driving something, there's a lot of stress on it. Bale mill, they really use the millstones. And if you're going to use them, you need to maintain them. So we have to sharpen them about every two years or so. It's hard work and it's tedious work too. Three days in the same position, cutting by hand a pattern that, you know, that's just slightly different from another pattern, which is slightly different from another pattern. I enjoy it. I mean, I think about all kinds of things while I'm doing it. You know, I'm solving all kinds of problems in my own mind, but, you know, a lot of people look at an easier way to do something. You get that smell. That's the smell of stone. You know, I always go back to the traditional method just because that's the way I was taught. I have the most control. To me, it makes a difference. I feel like everything I do, I've got my name on. So I do take pride in it, yeah. Okay, we'll go outside and have a look and see. To keep the mill alive, to keep it operational, that's very important to me. And to be able to let it tell its story of how it works, it's been a big part of my life, so keep me going. Makes me want to wake up in the morning, go to work. <laughs>